Morning. Yeah, today, Senator Amy Klobuchar this afternoon is holding an event with the Hazelton Betty Ford Foundation and the Anoka Hennepin School District to talk about support for mental health. Meanwhile, middle and high school students in the Anoka Hennepin District are returning to in-person learning in a hybrid model today. So at Senator Klobuchar's event this afternoon, we'll learn about a partnership between the Hazelton Betty Ford Foundation and the Anoka Hennepin District, which provides licensed professionals to conduct school-based mental health screenings. It comes after a new study by NBC News and Challenge Success, which shows students in distance learning are more stressed than their peers in the classroom. According to that study, 84% of remote students reported exhaustion, headaches, and other stress-related ailments, compared to 78% of students who were in the classroom full-time. You might remember late last week, the CDC issued new guidance for reopening schools safely. Some teachers' unions, not, just here, not only here in Minnesota, but across the country, have pushed for a delay to returning to in-person learning, citing safety reasons. For example, the St. Paul Teachers Union says that they want teachers and students to be back in the classroom, but not until more, more staff are vaccinated. Chris and Gia. Yeah, mixed emotions today. A lot of students happy and excited to go back. A lot of teachers worried about the future. So we'll see how it all turns out. Thanks, Jennifer.